I thank the Home Secretary for advance sight of the statement. Today's statement is an admission of years of total failure by this Conservative Government, failure on the immigration system and failure on the economy. It is another example of the total chaos at the heart of this Government. Net migration has trebled since the last election, since the Conservatives promised to reduce it, and trebled as a result of their policies on the economy and on immigration, including the Prime Minister's policy decisions. In a chaotic panic, the Prime Minister now opposes the policies that he introduced and thinks that their own decisions are a problem. But who does the Home Secretary think has been in charge for the last 13 years? More chaos, more veering all over the place. Net migration should come down. Labour has called for an end to the 20% unfair discount for un increased uh, salary thresholds to prevent we have called for an end to the 20% unfair discount, also for increased salary thresholds to prevent exploitation and include advice from a strengthened Migration Advisory Committee. And most of all, we have called for a proper plan with clear links between the immigration system and training and the economy, workforce plans, none of which are included in the statement today. Because they have no grip, no proper plan, this is a chaotic approach. Yeah. Immigration is important for Britain, and rightly we have helped Ukraine and Hong Kong. We benefit from international talent and students. But that is why the immigration system needs to be controlled and managed so that it is fair and effective, and also why net migration should come down from these record levels. But there needs to be a proper plan. It was this Conservative Government who brought in the 20% wage discount that allowed employers to recruit at less than the going rate, even though the Migration Advisory Committee warned against it, even though it is completely unfair. They chose to apply salary thresholds, again, lower than the Migration Advisory Committee originally proposed, and not to update them for years. And as Chancellor, and then, as Prime Minister, the Right Honourable Member for Richmond repeatedly blocked proposals to tighten the rules, including in May this year, and including when they refused Labour's calls to end the unfair 20% discount. And they repeatedly failed to listen to warnings about the failure to train or pay properly here in the UK. Twelve months ago, I warned that work visas had substantially increased as a result of major skills shortages in the UK, and the Conservatives were not taking any serious action to address those skills shortages. The Leader of the Opposition, 12 months ago, warned the immigration system should be linked to new requirements to train up workers here at home. But the Conservatives did nothing, and unbelievably they are still doing nothing. Nothing in this statement about training requirements or workforce plans. They say they want fewer shortage occupations, but it was only four months ago that they added bricklayers, roof tilers, plasterers to the shortage list because they have totally failed on construction training here at home. There's no plans to tackle that. Engineering apprenticeships have halved since 2018. Well, no wonder engineering visas have gone up. Again, nothing to tackle those failures, and social care visas have gone up from 3,500 a year to over 100,000 a year because they have failed for years to heed warnings about recruitment and retention in social care, and they halved the budget for social care, workforce recruitment and support back in the spring, and they are still not listening, still refusing to adopt Labour's plan for a proper workforce strategy for social care, including professional standards and a fair pay agreement. They are failing to tackle the delays in the asylum system that have also pushed the net migration figures up, failing to tackle NHS waiting lists that are preventing the long-term sick going back to work. And the Prime Minister is just crashing around all over the place, reversing policies that he introduced, <laughs> criticising policies he defended six months ago, and introducing new immigration policies without any of the economic policies to match. The previous Prime Minister was accused of being a shopping trolley, veering around from one side to the other. The current Prime Minister is clearly veering, but he certainly isn't steering. He's just climbed into someone else's shopping trolley, and he's being pushed around all over the place. So can the Home Secretary tell us 
Where is the workforce plan on social care, on engineering, on bricklaying, on all the shortage occupations that their total economic failure has left us with? Has the Migration Advisory Committee advised on these policies and where's the reforms to strengthen the committee so that they can do so? And why are they still not introducing our requirements on employers or on the government to address the skills and labour shortages that are driving the increase in the net migration in the first place. The Conservatives are in chaos. They've got no serious plan for the economy, no serious plan for the immigration system, no serious plan for the country. Britain deserves better than this. Yeah.